Okay, so I've just got a new feature that's kind of coming along slowly here, um, which I've currently called Click to Deploy, um, and it leans on deployment plans um, to allow you to deploy single items or multiple items of content from the content admin list. Um, so very simple. You have a little action here, which is deploy, and we may change this to export. Antoine is quite keen on export. Um, and when you click that, you get to either choose any of the targets that are available that you've pre-configured. The file downloads always there, and this is a, a remote instance. Um, so I can ship this straight to a, um, a machine, another machine. Um, so you click the button, and you get a recipe, which has got this particular content item in it. Or if we click the other button, we go straight to this um, other server over here, which is just another tenant that I've got running here, the, the destination tenant. And the content has now been deployed to that one. Um, and I had a little bit of time on the weekend, so I did um, a bulk action button for it as well. Um, so now you'll get all of the published content that you've selected here is available just to ship into another file. Um, so this one's, the, the file itself is pre-structured. Um, because it is part of a deployment plan, um, to have all the steps or everything that you need to import it, um, either through the remote deployment targets or by going to the import export menu and choosing import. So you can you can also grab this file or FTP this file around or go to another server and, and choose to import it directly there. Um, it's configured by creating a, a particular deployment plan. Uh, so it's possible to add just this step to a, a, the deployment plan, or you can also choose to add, say, a file content definition step um, so that every time that you ship a new file up to a remote server, you also deploy your content definition changes or any other step that you might want to. Um, that's probably one of the big reasons I did it as part of deployment plans is because it, it, is, it feels like something that as I use it, um, I probably include all my content, content definitions by default as well as part of the plan. Um, because when I'm working locally on a site that I'm developing, um, I'll often, or a site that's running, often make some changes to the content definitions, do a couple of samples for the client of um, how it looks now, um, and deploy the new templates, and then want to deploy the actual content in the samples up to a, a staging server or possibly a live server. Uh, so there's a little setting that you that you have to set because it's a feature, um, where you just have to pick the particular plan that you've got that contains that step. Um, so you could have, have multiple ones. And we have the click to deploy. And then we've got two choices on plans here that could work for this, this particular step. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got. So I already give, gave you my feedback on the PR, and I have a third item for feedback. Sure. Which is, um, what does the click to deploy plan do in this case? Because when you do, I, I have an ID, but when you do actions, and then you click deploy or export. Click here. You select a target, a deployment target. Okay. 
which is yeah. not the plan, but where you want to execute a plan to. So I assume that what this does is adding transiently the content items to the click to deploy plan and running the plan for these targets. All right? Yes. If you execute the click to deploy plan again, it won't have any content items. That's correct. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just um, adds them into the model um, and then inside the plan binds them from the model state of what's been received by the um, by the controller. Um, so if you were, and, and it's true, if you went here and choose the, the plan, not that one because it's actually got stuff in it, but this one which has just got the click to deploy, you won't get any content coming through. That'll be an empty recipe. I'm confused now. So click to deploy is a step or plan. I saw the. It is a step. Um, so as the step runs, um, the step has some model binding in it, which picks up the content item IDs that come from okay, okay. up click here. Deploy content here. So this is a deployment plan named deployment plan. Um, this is a deployment plan. These are deployment named plans. click to deploy. I just um, that titles nothing I've changed, yeah. but that's click to deploy. And then it contains the click to deploy content step. step. Okay, step. OK, but you have a click to deploy. Plan that also contains a click to deploy content step. Yeah, and the, the reason I did it that way is so that you could include other. Parts in your step, sorry, in your plan um, or other steps in your plan. Mm -hmm. um, so that I can have content definitions going in there as well. So as I deploy content. I know that the, the the server on the other end is is also up to date on its content definitions, um, or you know other steps that you might want to include. Okay. So, did you have some other feedback on that? That I already gave. Other than you already gave? The one I gave for everyone is that I it's it's sort of gone, but I would have loved to have a, an action which is export now or show me the content item. So I can just I don't have to click on file target to see the file and then download the zip, extract the recipe JSON to see the content item, but just show me the content item directly, download it. Uh, by using the content uh, item API, for instance, just pointing to that. So it's just a link um, for one or many, because I, I think we said we wanted that and it's super useful. So that provides a, a mitigation for that, but it's just three clicks instead of one, if not so, four clicks, actually. So I mean, it, it is more clicks. Um, the I looked at using the API for which would just give the JSON of the content item back. It wouldn't wouldn't pre-build the recipe steps. Like it would just give you this back as, as a JSON object. Mm -hmm. um, which is another option as well, and that could be the button that we call export. I'm, I don't mind ha having it um, particularly. Um, but it has less use because you then have to cut and paste this file into something else in order to well, get it somewhere. Well, but the goal here is just to see, to read it, not to deploy it. That's why. Oh, I mean. Right, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I mean that makes that makes sense. Um, can't use the API controller because the API controller is like you see um, in a workflow. Um, yeah. 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 So the API controller is token auth based, so it doesn't work with the cookie auth. So, okay. um, but there's no reason that I can't put another controller in mm -hmm. um, that will just do a file download, um, which is why I haven't renamed it to export yet. 
Okay. Yeah, an admin controller for that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was saying that in the workflow editor, you often have to get the content of content item to update it, to create the same thing, or that's why you want to be able to... So you want to see the, see the structure. Yeah. Um, or, or if you need the content item ID also sometimes, you just, okay, export it and get the content item ID. Yeah, so that's a pretty easy one to add to that. Mm -hmm. um, and okay. that would probably become the export button. Yep. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it's sort of a question. It's related. That's uh, it could have been just that also. The the other uh, other question I had is, so here it's uh, it's ready deploy now, like and no not later. Like if you say I want that to be deployed, um, it's not adding it to a plan. And next time you rerun the plan, this will be deployed again. It's not like mark this one has to be added to a plan. So maybe also something would be nice to add an item from this menu to an existing plan. So that whenever you will run the plan, it's this item will be part of the plan, like a content item step. Yeah, so I agree completely. And that would probably be my next PR on this one. Um, and I think of it as queue to deploy. Um, because it puts it in a queue and then later you run the queue. And you will have to select the plan. Um, like, not the target. Yes, at that, at that point you would have to go into here and go. Well, no, no, um, here. I mean, in the, oh, the same way you show the targets, you just show the plans instead. Um, right, yes. And that it would just have to be a plan that contained the, the queue step again. Why? Why not just add a step like export content item or you know content item with a name and each and the, the list will show the title of the content item and or the ID whatever. Sorry, maybe we're talking about slightly different things. So no, <laughs> a plan no. a plan has deployment plans. Today we have content type step. We have uh, uh, but why not have a single content item step? in a plan. Yeah. OK, and what so I'm saying is that when you select, when you click on a content item to say add to a plan, and you select the plan, it will add a content item step to the plan with the content item that you added to. Ah, so it will actually edit the step or edit the plan. It will create, it will edit the plan by adding a step with this content item. So it will appear here as one step. And if you selected two of them, then the two of them are there. The two of them are there. Yeah. So same concept. I just had a slightly different different thought on implementation. That's exactly what you did is just instead of selecting a target, you select the plan and then. Yeah. Just... And then later you come down and you execute the plan. Mm -hmm. If if you prefer to have query based step or all the content items of a type step, then you can do it. But in this case, you know, sometimes you just want to export one more thing, like a menu item or menu or what, I don't know. And then you can yeah, just... yeah, because it's your development machine. So you have 10 things on here, which you've been playing with and two things maybe, that you want maybe, the client yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sounds, it, it's something I'd like to see as well. Okay, that looks good otherwise. Good job.